Well, we know that the crash happened on this very busy section of Alafaya Trail right near that bus stop sign. The teenager who was hit suffered very serious injuries and is expected to recover, but the focus now is finding the hit and run driver. is recovering from serious injuries after troopers say he was struck by a hit and run driver. It happened around 730 Saturday night on Alafaya Trail. They left him there for dead. Lechner's parents spoke with West 2 News outside Arnold Palmer Hospital where their son is recovering from several surgeries. They shared a picture of his broken arm, which required multiple pins, and say he also had to have his leg operated on, as well as plastic surgery on his face. The driver of that vehicle knew they hit somebody. They hit my son on the front passenger side of that vehicle. He flew up the windshield and over the top of the vehicle. The search is on for the hit and run driver. Troopers say it was a white car headed north on Alafaya near La Conatosa that hit Cody who was riding his bicycle with some friends. The driver reportedly slowed but then drove off. Troopers say the car will have front end damage and they hope someone with information will call in a tip. Please whoever you are just come forward. Turn yourself in. Do the right thing. You've, there's a 13-year-old little life laying on the line, fighting as hard as he can fight. Now, doctors are telling the Lechners that it'll take six months to a year for their son to fully recover from his injuries. They're asking if anyone knows anything about this hit and run that they contact either the Florida Highway Patrol or Crime Line with an anonymous tip. Live in Orange County, Amanda Ober, West 2 News.